you have a prediction on his next fight against Joseph Parker? You know, I've always said later rounds. I see that fight going later rounds. Um, if Joseph Parker is smart, you know, what do he do? You know, if he have nice movement and being able to execute on all the opportunities that he see with Joshua, you know, because Joshua don't move his head. He's, 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 a, he's a muscle, he's a bodybuilder type of guy. To have so much muscle, what it does is it decreases your flexibility. You can't move like you want to move. You see my dance? You know what I mean? I see it in the ring. <laughs> so with that, you know, if you know how to, to be able to calculate what he got to do in the ring, because the ring has a lot of secrets up in it. It's just a lot of secrets in the ring, you know. If he's able to, to, to do the things he needs to do, I see late rounds. But like I said before, I think he's going to have to knock Joshua out because they're not going to give him a good I don't, I don't see that. And lastly, do you have a prediction for your own fight on March 3rd? When people ask me the rounds, I always see threes. You know, this year is it's a magical year. It's, 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 it's a lucky number. It's the year of the 33. It's, it, you know, it's, it's a magical year, the 33. You know, so I see threes everywhere. So I see three three rounds or less. You know, it may be shorter than that. Depends on how I feel when I see them. So. <laughs> That's all I got, Captain. Yeah, okay. right, my man.